Amongst the plethora of Victorian tank engines, the North Staffordshire Railway D-Class is often perhaps overlooked. Designed by Luke Longbottom at Stoke Works and introduced between 1882 and 1899, the D-Class became the most numerous on the North Staffordshire system, with 49 examples being built. Luke Longbottom, like yours truly, was from Wakefield in West Yorkshire, and he was born there in 1826. He was apprenticed to Fenton, Murray and Jackson of the Round Foundry in Leeds, and later worked for E.B. Wilson and Company also in Leeds. He became the North Staffordshire Railway Locomotive Superintendent in 1882, and died in post in 1902. These cheerful little 060s had 4 foot 6 inch diameter driving wheels, inside cylinders measuring 16.5 by 24 inches, and 140 psi boilers. The boilers contained 140 steel tubes. The tanks were capable of carrying 950 imperial gallons of water, and the bunker 2 tons 500 weight of coal. In working order, they weighed a smidge over 44 imperial tons. The earliest members of the class were a fine example of Victorian recycling, as they used the wheels discarded from the North Staffordshire A-class 240 tank engines, which were then being refitted with larger 5-foot 1-inch diameter driving wheels. The last 12 engines of the D-class were delivered with 17 by 24-inch cylinders. In an attempt to increase the range of the D-Class, in 1899 Longbottom introduced his six-strong DX-Class, and in so doing turned what had been a silk purse of a locomotive into something of a sow's ear. The extended bunker and addition of a set of carrying wheels at the rear ruined the good looks of the D-Class. In service, they were found to be very versatile locomotives, not only as shunters, but for working goods trains and with the fitting of vacuum brake apparatus for working local passenger trains. Longbottom began rebuilding the D-Class from 1900 by providing them with his standard 150 psi, 4 foot 2 inch diameter boiler and new 17 inch diameter cylinders as standard. This rebuilding was completed by 1913. All of them entered LMS service in 1923, with the LMS replacing the Ram's bottom safety valves with the Ross Pop type, due to them being such a relatively small and non-standard type. The LMS redrew the first class member in 1927, and by 1937 the entire class was extinct. The D class were a characterful, really useful class of tank engine, and it's a shame none survived into preservation, as they would be ideal for many heritage railways. I hope you have enjoyed this video, and if you have, please leave a comment below. Please also like, share and subscribe, and click the notification bell. And if you are able to support Rail Story financially, you can do so via Patreon and Ko-fi to help keep the channel on the rails. And I look forward to seeing you all next time on Rails Story.